Hello. And if I said fail to say so um, before now, Happy New Year to everyone. I don't see anyone there yet, but I know that that doesn't necessarily mean that you're not there. And I don't, you know what, you all excuse me for fiddling with this, um, with this top. I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm just going to leave it exactly like it is. <laughs> um, I am so glad that you're going to join me. And uh, I want to say, if I get to talking... And then I don't have the, then I don't uh, have the forethought to stop and say welcome and thank you for coming in. I'm going to say that now. So um, and then when you come in, please like and share. I am um, this particular live is uh, something that is very dear to uh, to my heart. I'm getting a lot of calls. I am getting a lot of calls, and um, I want to say this. PSA, you all know, you all know the first thing that comes is the PSA. Wear your mask. Wear your mask. Now, of course, uh, you, you are, we all know if you watched my, um, watched the live on last week that I had my mask on and I still, uh, got ca uh, caught Thanos <laughs> and became, um, I'm trying to, all of these buzzwords, I'm trying not to use them, and became, uh, intimately acquainted intimately acquainted with this um with this enemy and in about a second i'm going to take this off i am because if i don't take it off i am going to continue to be fiddling and fattening with it and it's going to be very distracting so there we go ah okay here we go. Thanks for reminding me to turn turn my friend here off. And so let's go right to Hey Randy, I'm looking at you on my phone. <laughs> As I work to turn off this these sounds. Here we go. Now, that should not interfere with us anymore. And then I have that darn necklace off that was getting on my nerves. And so, uh, wear your mask. And so you say, well, you had your mask on and you still, you still caught uh, this entity. Yes, I did. But now remember, there are several things that you need to do. If you are eating sugar, then you are, I don't care what you do. If you eat, if sugar is in your meal plan, if sugar is a part of your activities, your pattern, now that's not an inborn uh, pattern of activity. That's, that's a uh, proclivity. That's a habit that is an inordinate desire and so if sugar is in your diet then you can pretty much you can pretty much um, know that you have an open door for this enemy to walk through and so then yes how did i catch this enemy i am definitely at home now quarantining myself I uh, I caught it because of my proclivities. Every now and then, maybe twice a year, somewhere around in there, 
I allow myself the indulgence of eating some cookies. And so normally they are my cookies from the health food store uh, that is they're organic and um, you know they have things like plant they have plant sugars and then not plant based but plant sugars and all of that kind of thing so they're made properly and I don't have to worry about um, them shutting down my immune system or opening uh, or um, messing with my ACE2 receptors and getting me caught up in this in this activity that's going on now. And no, I had the Christmas cookies, those little round ones that have all the little sprinkles or have the sugar on them or have the all kind of thing that people give you at Christmas time uh, in those little tins. Well, I ate about five of those while I was visiting. I was away visiting, enjoying, thoroughly enjoying myself uh, down in Florida. And I ate those little four or five cookies. And then a couple of days later, when I got on the airplane where someone got on, who had on one of those little flimsy blue masks, uh, I'm of a mind that they gave them the mask. They told them you cannot get on the flight without a mask. And so then they gave them this little flimsy blue mask, which of course opened at the sides and allows things to go in and come out. And they were coughing. They were seriously coughing on the plane. My mind said, how are you, how are you allowed to get on this plane um, coughing like that and uh, and then my mind said why isn't anyone asking you to leave this plane <laughs> and while I was having this conversation with myself a gentleman came and sat uh, on the same row with me I was at the window he was at the aisle and he was sniffling up a storm and so I, I thought oh you are catching something too and so I just pulled out my, uh, I had already gone into the uh, local, the airport uh, drug house and got me a cup of green tea. And, uh, and then I had, uh, what else did I get? I put, I, I didn't put any, uh, I put honey in it. I put some raw honey in it. And, uh, and I had gotten, I had, I, I don't travel without my vitamin C. Uh, my mega food vitamin C complex. It is not ascorbic acid. It is not a citric acid. It is the entire complex. Vitamin C, like vitamin B, is a complex. And if you're taking a vitamin C, such as uh, emergency, uh, then uh, you won't be you won't be protected, and you'll be wondering why uh, you can't get rid of these symptoms and why it's lingering on and lingering on. And that is because you're not taking uh, what you're taking is not potent enough to protect you from uh, Thanos. So let me say hello to some of you. Hey, Brandy. Good to see you, dear. Good morning, Janice. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I appreciate you so much liking and sharing. Bless you. Thank you, Brandy, for liking and sharing. Um, Sonia Adams, thank you for joining us. Thank you. I appreciate your being here. And so uh, let's get back here to this aeroplane and what I did to make myself uh, pray which is what I did. I made myself pray and I, I carry my vitamin C's with me. And uh, it is, as I was saying, it is not this ascorbic acid, it is not citric acid, it is not all of these uh, fractionary parts or components of the vitamin C, but it is a complete complex. C is a complete complex just as vitamin B is a complete complex. And so um, I had my, which one did I have with me? Because I have two. 
uh, that I carry. So then I had my Garden of Life raw vitamin C. Now that comes in a vegetarian capsule. It comes in a vegetarian capsule that, that keeps that raw vitamin C raw. So it is a powder, but it is placed in a vegetarian capsule to keep it in that raw state. Well, that's what I had with me because I had it in one of these little bottles like this so that I could get it through, uh, get it through when they checked all my stuff at the airport. And so I double dosed myself when these people, <laughs> when they got settled on the plane, I double dosed myself with vitamin C and I drank my green tea because remember green tea, the catagens in the green tea, they cut off the blood supply to Thanos. And so then, and they also cut off the blood supply to cancer cells. They also cut the blood supply to cancer cells. So those are things that you need to put in the memory of your mind. <laughs> I know it sounds like I'm, I'm saying the same thing twice, doesn't it? Um, but you want to store that in your memory. And so um, I had my, my catagens to cut off the blood supply. I had my vitamin C that um, covers the cell membrane preventing Thanos from getting to, from attaching to the cell and then breaching the cell membrane and getting into the cell and planting itself in in the cells and using your machinery, using your machinery and uh, inserting its RNA in your in your DNA. They say that it does not um, because they're not putting the the, the Thanos in Thanos not inserting Thanos into uh, your cell that it does not that uh, it does not, let me see, let me see how I can say this right and say it without getting caught at the same time. That it does not change the DNA, that it doesn't use the DNA. That's, a, that's what we're being told, that it does not, uh, it does not affect the DNA. But what this particular does is that it, it, it uses the cell's machinery. It uses its machinery. And then it inserts its RNA into your DNA. So RNA are the instructions. They're the instructions. And so when they're inserted into your DNA, then they tell your DNA to produce its, um, to produce its, its body, I guess, for lack of a better term, to produce more uh, that's what it is. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It tells your DNA to produce more, um, by, mm, more particles, <laughs> to produce more particles. And then when it is, um, released into the body, then the enzymes take those particles and produce, and produce from those particles um, the, the Thanos, Thanos. And so then, so now you are, you are, um, intimate. Now you have an intimate relationship with this entity and it spreads through your body. So here I was, oh, vitamin C prevents that because if vitamin C is uh, covering the cell membrane, then Thanos cannot break into the cell membrane to do all of that that I, that I just explained. Well, uh, and, and vitamin C, it also protects the DNA and it repairs the DNA. So vitamin C is very, very, very vital during this time. Well, I've done all of that, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm just, um, 
not even worried about these people that I am surrounded by. <laughs> and so I got home two days later. Uh, and if you heard this story, I, I apologize. Uh, I got home and two days later, I woke up with full blown, um, a full blown, all with the symptoms. I had uh, my first symptom was a dry cough and I, I, and my thought was, was we have uh, 515 prayer. And so by five, before 530, I had this dry cough. And then by 535, I had this, um, I had this, my nose was running like a faucet. And I said, and I, I checked, I checked the mu, I checked the uh, mucus to see um, what color it was, and it was clear. And uh, and then I had by five thirty, I had this headache. I had this headache, and I thought, oh Lord, because I don't get headaches, and because I don't get headaches, I jumped right up from that uh, bed or sitting on the side of the bed and ran to the kitchen. I ran to the kitchen and I made myself a soup. And if you like the recipe, that recipe, you can find it at on the website because I'm, I'm trying to be finished here at 1230. You can go to the website and get the re and get that recipe. Um, but I tell you, in I took about two ounces. I, I, I had just taken about two ounces of that soup. And uh, immediately my nose stopped running and the dry cough stopped. And, you know, some of some some people have that dry cough. They have it for months. It's one of the last things that uh, if they had a mild case, if they didn't have a very severe case, then it's one of those things that lingers on, that can linger on for quite a while as a mild um, long hauler. And so... The coffee was gone. The running, the running, the faucet had been turned off, and all of that by um, five thirty. So we used to stay in about fifteen minutes, and so. But I still had this headache. <clears throat> now know this: headache is a sign that Thanos has crossed the blood-brain barrier, and is damaging uh, the brain cells, and so it damages back here right above the brain stem and so you want to make sure that you take care of that you want to make sure that you take care of it but see that's where that fog comes from that's where that another lingering long hauler is that fog and that comes from that uh crossing over of the blood brain barrier and so then what I did, uh, the nose had stopped and the uh, dry cough had stopped. So I didn't say, oh, good, I'm good, you know, and uh, uh, got a little cold or got a little, mm -mm. I went and I pulled out my vitamin C and I pulled out my zinc. Z C for all of the things that, that uh, we just talked about. But the zinc was for the br damage to the brain cells. And I wanted to make sure I took care of that damage to those brain cells immediately. And, uh, and I did because then once I took those, took that and um, the type of zinc that I use is the, it comes from the same company as my vitamin C, and that is the mega food. Now, I know I call, talked about the Garden of Life. I'm not sure if they have a zinc, but the one that I use is I get it from the same company that I get that powdered C from, and that is mega food. And they can both be ordered online if they're not at your near health food store. And so um, I did that headache was gone. So then I uh, laid down, you know, I ate my soup. I, I stayed with my soup. And then I made sure 
I, that I worked on being asleep by 11 o'clock, by 11 p.m., because remember the healing cycle is between 11 p.m. and 2 a.m., and you should have seven complete hours of sleep. But your healing cycle, by which the healing hormones are released, they're released at 1030. So then you really should be in the bed, in the bed, trying to get to sleep, make sure you sleep by 11 o'clock, by that uh, time for that healing cycle. And then uh, make sure that you everything is off. Uh, you're not talking on the phone. You're not watching TV. You're not. The only thing sometimes, if I think I'm not going to be able to be to get to sleep by that 11 o'clock hour, then I'll put on worship music. I'll put on music with the scripture. I'll put on something uh, healing, healing scriptures or. Um, uh, sleeping with the Holy Spirit, something like that. And, and it's on uh, YouTube. It's on YouTube. And so I'll do that. I'll do everything that I can to make sure that I am asleep during that healing cycle because the healing cycle only occurs at 11, between 11 p.m. and 2 a.m. And so then and you'll know if you missed it sometimes when you wake up with a when you wake up with a headache and fogginess and you wake up irritable and out of sorts that's because your brain did not repair the night before you know you slept uh, but you wake up exhausted and tired and irritable with a headache and all of those kinds of things, then you, your brain was not repaired. It wasn't repaired. And the repair of the organs and the systems of the body takes place between 11 p.m. and, tw and 2 a.m. And that is yours. So whether you're in Central Time, Eastern Standard Time, Pacific Time, that's your time zone and your hours. And so, um, let me see. I am telling you at the first sign of sniffles, because now what I caught was, I, I can't even say the name, even though I'm getting ready to go off. So what I'll do is I will put the name in the comments because the latest variant is what we normally catch in this fall and winter season, combined with part of the, uh, the family name of this uh, entity. And so I'll put that name in the, uh, I'll, put it, I'll put it down there uh, in the comment section. But that is what I caught because I, and, and I don't know if the lady that was coughing and hacking all over the place I don't know if if she had both of them or if she just had Thanos because see it's possible remember I had two people and so it's possible that one of them had Thanos and one of them had the common uh, the common flu that we have during this time and season and so when you come when both of them are combined in the same person, uh, or you catch uh, that that has already been combined in the same person, because that is the latest uh, variation that is circulating now, um, then you have that particular one now. And so the first thing you'll think is, oh, I just have a cold or I just have the flu. At the first sign of anything that you think is a cold or the flu, do your due diligence. Do that that you need to do. Eliminate the sugar, the enriched flour, eliminate the, uh, the coffee and the saturated fats because co coffee raises your cholesterol. And cholesterol is a bad cholesterol, is a hard fat. And that's why Thanos and a cancer cell is almost indestructible. 
because of that hard, saturated, trans fatty acids, all of those kind of things. So you want to make sure that you eliminate those things. We cannot, we cannot allow our proclivities, our habits, the things that we normally do. See, we, we said um, all through this, you heard, we want to get back to normal. We want to get back to normal. Our normal is what has made us um, pray at this time. And if we don't change our normal, if we don't do what is needed by this body to defend itself, if we don't put in it the things that give the body, the immune system, and all of the other uh, systems that regulate the health of the body, if we don't make a turn and turn to that which was in the beginning that that guy gave us a pattern he gave us the pattern he showed us what to do and how to do it uh in the beginning we've got to make a change because if we don't make a change then we are going to be living on um injections we're going to live on injections because the the and i'm going to say this word because i'm getting ready to go off the any antibodies that are being produced by uh the injections they only last i just read a report they last two months and so what does that mean that means every two months you will be getting an injection because because you're not uh, giving your immune system what it needs to make its own and we have seen, we've, we saw in the beginning of this, that those that had come in contact with Thanos back in the 70s, they were the only ones that yet had, uh, was producing antibodies that protected them from, from uh, Thanos. And so that means that your immune system has the answer and your body has the answer. And we have to begin to eat in a fashion that enables our immune system to protect us from Thanos, any family member of Thanos, and those things that are to come. There are other things to come. But the only thing that, can, that has been given the power to protect you from this and that which is to come is your immune system because it's God made, he knew what we would come up against. And so he made the body in such a way that it makes the adjustment, it makes the turns, it makes the curves. And, and you don't need to have to keep forming something after something after something after something because the immune system does that, it has the answer. And so uh, let me make this disclaimer. I am not saying to take or not to take any injection or anything else. I'm saying pray before you do take, ingest, inject anything. Pray, follow the leading of the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is the only thing and the only one, not thing, but one that can lead us into all truths. Now, I'm going to run down here and say hello to you all. If you have a question, please put it in while I am uh, going through and I will try my best to answer it for you. So let me see here. Okay, come on, let's work right. Let's go all the way up here. Ooh, Brandy, thank you so much. Thank you for liking and sharing. You work today, girl. Sonia again, thank you, Sonia Adams. Thank you again so very much for um, joining us today and being with us. I hope you were blessed. I hope you were blessed. Hey, Prophet Dorsey, thank you so much uh, from jo for joining us. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate you. Marcus, hey, son. Thank you, thank you, thank you, dear. Hey, my friend, my sis, we got to... We're going, we're, we're, shoot, we're going to do, we're going to make it do what it do. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> I'll talk to you Sunday. Uh, blessings to you, um, 
Delphine McMurrin. God bless you. Thank you for joining. I hope you were blessed. And Nicole Burton. Oh, thank you all. You all are so wonderful for joining me. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Hey, Annette. Hey. Thank you. Oh, let, let me say something, you all. You know, uh, Annette um, Harris is so professional. She is so professional. She has that wonderful voice and that wonderful professional mannerism. And uh, I just need to um, to ask you all to forgive me because because Wednesday, I was all over the place. I was all over the place. I watched that show and I thought that I was crazy myself. So if you all watched it, uh, please forgive me. Please forgive me. I, uh, I was a little scattered. I was a little scattered. I don't know if it was because I was, you know, I, I'm still working through this, um, this Thanos or not. But boy, was I a hot mess. And so don't blame it on her. She was trying to make me, help me. She was trying to help me. So uh, I hope I was better today. And uh, let's see. Deatrice Carter, thank you, ma'am, for joining. Blessings to you. And let's see. I'm not seeing any questions. Thank you, Brandy. Thank you so much. Yes, vitamin C. Now listen, do not use emergency. Emergency was produced for electrolytes. And the emergency is for like if you are, um, when you're exercising. When you're exercising and you're sweating a lot and you need to replenish those electrolytes, that's what emergency is for. It is not for this season. And so then um, there are those that I have talked with that are pumping themselves full of vitamin C, yet they're wondering why this thing is lingering on and on and on and they can't seem to get rid of it. They can't seem to get rid of it because emergency has sugar in it, number one. And uh, that, you know, that gives you that feel of energy. It, um, it, it, you know, make, energizes you, the sugar does, and, um, and it's not potent enough. It is absolutely not by any means potent enough. And so you're actually doing yourself a disservice, and I'm probably going to have to stop talking about this in this manner. So maybe I'll put it on the website. Maybe I'll put it on my website, and then I won't be mentioning it, but it, it is... If you think that you are, if you are taking that product, it will not do what you need to be done. So I just want to make sure that you understand that. And uh, hello, Apostle Sabrina Seawood. Thank you so much for joining. God bless you. God bless you. All of you all are such busy people, and I do appreciate you. I appreciate you. Apostle Miles, thank you so much. Thank you for joining. Uh, Woman of God, Nicole Burton, thank you. Let's see. Is cod liver oil and castor oil good for immunity? Yes, it is. That's one of the ways that uh, when I was a little girl, that was the punishment that they that they used to keep us from catching any, <laughs> catching anything. And it works. It does work. Now, let me say it worked back then. I don't know. I'm really not familiar with this um, with this new cod liver oil and castor oil. Uh, I can say that back in the day that that's what we used. But I, I don't know what the chemical structure, I don't know what has been added to make it palatable or any kind of thing. So you have to make sure that I... I would, I didn't even give that any of either one of those to my children. What I gave them was the extra virgin olive oil. And at that particular time, I was not familiar with the robust, which makes the extra virgin olive oil a bitter. And uh, that's what's missing. One of the things that's missing in our bodies and in our diet are the bitters. 
And so uh, what I would use before the li uh, cod liver oil and the castor oil, because I don't know the formulations and I don't know if they work now or not, uh, would be the extra virgin olive oil that is robust. That, that I know works. I gave that to the kids all through um, school and they never caught a cold. They never caught anything. Even when they were sent home with their little notes that stated um, that this child had uh, had an, uh, you know, an infection and that uh, the children had been exposed to it and all of that, my, I never had that problem because they, they got olive oil every day. Uh, oh, thank you, Brandy. Thank you so much. Mm -mm, I looked at that and I said, girl, you need to do better than that. That's what I said to myself. <laughs> but Annette was great, of course, as always. Um, as is cod liver oil and cancer oil for the immune system. Yes, it is. But you have to remember that you have to take a look at the quality of the product. You have to look at the quality of the product because, um, like I said, extra virgin olive oil, robust, but then most of the olive oils are culinary. They're culin culinary products. They're just for taste. And so they don't have that bitters. They, they, are, they, the, they don't have uh, the bitters of the product. And so it doesn't do what it should do. And so then I haven't taken a look at the um, cod liver oil or the castor oils that are on the market now. I haven't taken a look at them. And so I can't really say, yes, I can say that they were good for it. Uh, when you all were coming up, Brandy, I can say that it worked for you all. But I can't say, I can't say uh I would have to take a look. I I, I would think that um, it, they might not be as good, depending upon what the ingredients are. You know what what the um, what's in it, what the quality of it, the quality of the company uh, that makes it. Because sometimes they take shortcuts, and all of that is involved. So I stick with what I know. I know it used to be because it was straight up. And when it said it was cod liver oil, that's what it was. No additives, no preservatives, and uh, none of the um, none of the medicinal properties had been removed. See, that's a problem that we have now. Uh, airborne, no. Uh, airborne is in my book is the same. Would be fall into the same category as emergency and uh let's see here do you have the recipe <laughs> it's on it should be on the it should be on the website if not it will be because i definitely did get it to brandy so as soon as she gets a chance it will be there you'll be able to get it um you'll be able to get it and I'll, I'll, I'll send you a text pertaining to it. Uh, when winter set in, yeah. Yeah, castor oil was a thing, but I promise you, I hated castor oil. I hated it so bad until I promised myself I would never punish my children like that. And so I gave them the olive oil and it worked. It worked. But remember, it was the extra virgin robust olive oil that still had the bitters in it. And so the difference between that and this olive oil that we use on a regular basis, you can tell it immediately, you can tell the difference because you taste the bitters. It is it is not culinary by any means. Culinary, if it you know, if it's mild, no bitters and all of that, then you know all the active ingredients has been removed. And that's what I'm saying about the castor oil and all of that. Uh, the nowadays we have a tendency; they have a tendency to remove the active ingredients because the active ingredients are bitter and they smell. Um, oil of oregano is wonderful, but not for this. 
not for this oil or oregano is more of a maintenance or a preventive but when you get in a full and preventive for colds and that type of thing but it is not not for not for this not not for this it's too many things that you have to cover it's too many things that have to be covered and too many things that have to um be bo boasted and carried out in the body um that it, it's it's a good you know it's a good maintenance product that's what it is it is a good maintenance product um but i would not even with the cold uh i i would not depend upon that for oregano oil of oregano not if i have come down with it now if you catch it before it catches you then maybe but most certainly uh, not for i would not trust it for now uh you are welcome dear you are welcome let me see hello divine favor good afternoon to you dear and thank you for joining thank you and thank you for sharing and thank you brandy for putting the website on and uh let me see, am I missing someone? No. Okay. Do you have the recipe? <laughs> Brandy, is that you asked me if I have the recipe? I sent it to you. <laughs> I emailed, oh, okay. So I did something that you're not accustomed to me doing. I emailed the recipe to you about, about five o'clock this morning. <laughs> yes, that's it that is it now i know you put it here on the page uh there was a reason that i was putting it on the website instead of putting it on the page um but but you can leave it right here you can leave it right here and so what is the name of the bitters product it is the um you've seen it it's the Pomeyan extra virgin olive oil. It is the Pomeyan. Uh, Walmart carries it. And it has to be the robust. It does have to be the robust. Let me see. Where is that? Let me show. Well, it's an it's an olive oil, dear. It is not this is not, it's not a treatment for sickness and disease. It is not a sickness for, uh, it is not a treatment for sickness and disease. It is not a, a medicine, nor it is, is it a substitute for medicine. It is an olive oil and it has the properties of the olive plant. And let's see. Oh, good. Okay. All right. So then uh, you might want to, Apostle Miles, you might, we don't have a sprouts here, but uh, do there is, let's see, where is sprouts? Florida. Florida has sprouts. And so you might want to put the name of that product because most health food stores have culinary olive oils. And I had to go up to my health food store that I normally, and, um, they swore by this olive oil and I bought it and, and, and took it home when I opened it and tasted it. I went right back up there and I took it back and because it was an expensive olive oil. And I said, this has no active ingredients in it. And I had to have the store owner taste it because it did not. Good. Excellent. Excellent divine favor. Excellent. Let's see. We got that young castor oil. What young castor oil? <laughs> I don't know what you are talking about. <laughs> uh yes, ma'am. You're I, I I'm not getting your if it's a question or a statement, Apostle Miles. You said, I mean health food store. Are you asking me? Is is uh, would Sprouts be a good health food store, or are you saying that Sprouts is a good health food store? Uh, I love Sprouts. I love Sprouts. I recommend Sprouts, and um, 
if there's anyone in the Florida region and area that's looking for a, a, a good store, Sprouts would be the one that I would most certainly recommend. And let me see. Okay, I okay, I'm I'm a little bit confused here by this Facebook. So since we're replying to Annette, do you have the recipe for this? I believe Brandy put it on this page above you, <laughs> halfway down, halfway down um, these responses. She did put it on the page. I don't think she snatched it off yet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. So remember that that olive oil has to have it has to have the active ingredients. If it's not bitter, it doesn't have the active ingredient. Okay, Brandy, what is the name of the bitters you recommend? Okay, the olive oil that is robust is a bitter. It is a bitter. So now if you wanna know what foods I recommend, uh, your vitamin C foods, your citrus foods, those are bitters. Your lemons, your limes, your grapefruits, um, not your oranges, but certainly your lemons, your limes, and your grapefruits. Be, and, uh, and of course, you know that they should have, they should definitely have the seeds in them. Oh, my goodness, that time went by fast. I thought I had one more minute, and now I am way past. Uh, you are welcome. You are welcome, Ms. Daniels. God bless you. And let me see. No bitters. Are you talking about, you're talking about um, the soursop. You're talking about the soursop. I don't, I don't uh, purchase soursop online. I think sour sop should sour shop sop should come from um, should come from like New York or that kind of thing somewhere that's right across from the islands one of the islands where you can get it fresh where it hasn't been on the shelf for you don't know how long and all of that kind of thing so uh, Dr. Hunt he he gets the sour sop now how much he takes it. Well, then I don't know divine favor. I, that's a question. That's a Dr. Hunt question. Uh, because I, I know, and, and, and we talked about the olive oil. He and I, we talked about the olive oil, the soursop. And I know that the soursop is what he purchases. So I'm not sure what it is that you, I don't have that answer, dear. That answer I don't have. All right, bless you all. I'm going way over. I should have stopped at the questions. I should have stopped at at 1245, and it is now 1253. So blessings to you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And uh, get that soup. And uh, you know what? You all don't wait until something happens. To Don't wait until something happens. You get the sniffles and then... And then you want to stop eating the soup and then you want to stop using the microwave and then you want to try to stop because you're you're uh, addicted to the coffee. Now you want to try to stop with the coffee. You this is something this is a lifestyle change that you need to make. The more you do, uh, the more you remove, the more proclivities that you get away from and that habits that uh, bad habits that you the more of them that you drop that you stop doing the 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 better off you will be as far as Thanos is concerned Thanos you have to lay down your life in order for Thanos to uh, to um, be effective against you you have to open the door and so then then you know so make the change make the change it is i opened the door that's how i caught it i opened the door i ate sugar i ate those 
I ate those four or five little round cookies that opened the door and made me susceptible to this entity. And so now think about it. You know you you eating you eating ice cream, you're eating cookies, you're eating white bread, you're eating um jiffy mix cornbread, you're eating uh, all of this enriched flour and all of this stuff which is nothing but sugar and then you want to hop up when you get a sneeze and a runny nose and try to undo all of that stuff that you have done to your body and by the time some of you by the time uh, you can get a, by the time uh you can you put enough in your body to help you may be very well be at the ventilator stage and so you need to make up in your mind you're going to stop stop this um what is the word i said the other night foodiosity we need to stop this foodiosity and we need to return back to god and his pattern for living love you all i love you all uh fast is coming up seven day fast is coming up and you need to do it set your mind that you are going to do the pre-fast and then you're going to go through the fast uh, according to whatever your condition may be, if you have any conditions, uh, because you need to reset the immune system and you need for autophagy to take place. We are because of the experimentation and the exploitation that is going on in this time and this season. It is a must. Bless you. See you Monday.